Okay, here's the rest of some of my goodies. Got this pile of crystals here for five bucks. And out of this we've got a 3500 kilohertz. So now it's a nice band edge marker for the bottom of 80 meters, but I can divide that by two to get me 1750. So I have a low side uh, BFO for the band imaging receiver. And another 3995 crystal pops out of that for the top end of the band. Here's a one megahertz, very useful, a two megahertz. And here is a 10 megahertz, another 3500 kilohertz band edge marker. And here's somebody sitting at 70, 73 kilohertz, so not that useful, but it's in the hand band. 27 megahertz can uh, actually uh, drop out some interesting things with dividers. And another 27 megahertz. Also, I got uh, all these nice male to male BNCs. I realized last week that I was really hurting for these on my bench, so uh, these were a buck each. Got these brand new speakers, um, actually in the new shipping uh, uh, bubble wrap uh, for 25 cents a piece. And then here is Silver Mica Caps, uh, a dollar a bag. I couldn't believe I was seeing it. And they're not all the same value, so uh, I didn't even check the value ship, but they're all over the place. And the other killer deal was this Opto Electronics frequency meter, which I got for 35 bucks. It works. Um, and uh, the manual says it goes down to uh, 10 hertz, uh, although this front says 20 or says 1 megahertz, but I can live with that. But this will listen to uh, minus 40 dBm signals down at HF and needs maybe minus 30 once you get well into VHF. Uh, it's still very nice uh, for a very small counter. And the other nice find was a bunch of 2N5859s. And these guys make for um, really nice one-watt finals for exciters uh, down at HF. And some more silver micas and some more zeners for clamps on some of the uh, the finals, just so I uh, don't uh, break them down on big voltage swings. And then for 50 cents I got this whole, maybe about a dozen or so, uh, TL082, uh, I think they're FET input op amps. So that's pretty much it for the take for the day. So uh, again, 2008 or frequency meter and uh, this thing's in just absolutely mint condition. The dial mechanism needs some uh, adjustment here but uh, but the, uh, the plastic window is still very clear. That's very unusual. A lot of these things dull up yellow and get very brittle and uh, somebody's taken very good care of this. So um, I will probably wind up uh, yanking the thing for um, just the mechanism. Or maybe I'll build something straight into the front front end of it, but uh, change chassis. And uh, there's no doubt a high voltage power supply kicking around down the bottom here. Um, but I got this for 10 bucks. And the guy was very happy that uh, he did not have Sort of a thing. miniature rack mount style boxes. And I'm just gonna add a new piece of aluminum to the front panel. These are just a perfect size for a small uh, bench superhead or transmitter or just maybe a piece of instrumentation. And uh, I got these for two bucks a piece. And this was really amazing. This is five bucks for this really mint condition, basically new in the box, with manual, with leads, in the bag, old uh, Radio Shack multimeter. This is uh, something I grew up on uh, or with as a piece of test gear as a kid. And got a box of air variables for five bucks, uh, most of them in really nice shape. And I was able to pick up this 24-hour uh, uh, clock and inside-outside temperature gauge, rain gauge combination set for ten bucks. And if all I get out of it is just this 24-hour clock, I'm definitely ahead of the game. And this was really the find, was all these crystals. I picked up this uh, box of crystals for uh, ten bucks. I think that most of them are old chicken band units, but um, still those could be mixed for all over the place in terms of uh, practical uses. And I've got these two chassis, these nice chassis that don't have much of any holes at all in them for uh, a buck each. Basically the guys wanted to go have a cup of coffee and they said I could have them if I bought them a cup of coffee. And I got a couple of uh, pretty high efficiency speakers 
from K7LJ on his advice that uh, these would uh, be pretty nice units for uh, mobile applications. They're uh, six, six watts, and these are things that um, uh, get used a lot in uh, police and ambulance vehicles to uh, put a speaker right near a driver's head. And got myself a bag of uh, eighth-inch shaft knobs with set screws for five, two bucks each, brand new in the box. And this little guy here was pretty amazing in terms of just nice small size and uh, just uh, screws on, kind of like a BNC connector. Uh, there's just a single nut that holds that to the front channel or front uh, panel of the chassis, and, uh, which is a nice feature from a, just a mounting standpoint.